Hey, YMCA members, uh, Joe Manzoli, COO of the YMCA of Greater Nashua. Uh, we wanted to take a, a quick a few minutes here to share some exciting things that are happening at the Y. Um, but first, before we dive into it, I want to uh, thank you uh, for continuing to choose the YMCA. When you belong to the Y, you belong to something much bigger. It's, it's not just a place to exercise or swim. Uh, you're part of a, a, a larger movement uh, to strengthen our community. Uh, the YMCA has been doing some, some really incredible work. I'm, I'm really proud of our staff team uh, for continuing to adapt, uh, both in how we serve you at the Y, uh, but also how we, we provide support for our neighbors throughout the community. Um, so we're, we're excited about some, some fun things coming up. Uh, I've got Katie Parker, our Executive Director of Member Experience, joining me uh, to talk about some membership-related items, and Lynn Boyer, our Executive Director of Youth Development, uh, about some innovative ways we're offering programming. Uh, so I'm going to pass it over to Katie, uh, who's going to start off by telling you about our Strong Challenge. Thanks, Joe. Uh, so we're excited to be launching the Why Strong Challenge. Next Monday, we officially kick off. And the goal of our six-week virtual challenge is to move more, a goal of 20 minutes a day for five days a week. We'll have Why coaches available to motivate you with weekly themes, healthy habits, tips, and workouts to finish 2020 strong. This challenge is free and open to anyone in the community. So find a buddy and encourage them to join. Um, you can join by using the text on the screen. You just text the word strong with your mobile device to 833-867-6274. If you have any questions about registering for the strong challenge or you're not interested in texting, just give us a call at any of our branches and we're happy to help you get set up with that program. Um, also, starting next week, we are very excited to finally announce and launch Virtual Y. So Virtual Y is an added benefit of Y membership. You'll have exclusive access to our library of on-demand classes, as well as the live stream classes that we have been offering through um, Zoom and other virtual platforms. So there's a library of different categories of classes, everything from seniors, um, Pilates, yoga, all of the classes that you would normally or traditionally find in the Y, we have brought to you um, virtually as well. So as of today, we have over 100 on-demand classes and we'll continue to expand that library as we grow. Um, and so to access Virtual Y, you'll use the same login credentials that you would use to log into your Y account. And this is where you would do your updated billing methods or um, take a look at your membership. Um, so that is your Personify login, the same one attached to your Y membership, not the uh, account that you use for reservations in person. So I just wanna clarify that if you need any help logging in to virtual Y, just give us a call here at the Y and we will walk you through that and help you with passwords and anything else that you may need. And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Lynn Boyer to talk about programs. Thank you, Katie. So um, here at the Y, we know that life and your schedules are unpredictable and changing constantly right now. So we are working hard to create uh, multiple options for you and your family to attend classes that make sense for you right now. Um, so in addition to our traditional eight week terms, we are offering something called express terms. Um, we just, we are running one right now in October and we'll be having a three week express term in November and another three week express term in December. Um, so registration is currently open for the November express term and will be soon for the December express term. And this is in our aquatics, it's in arts and humanities, um, sports, fitness, um, mostly all of our departments. Um, in addition to that, we're looking at some block scheduling. Um, this is something new for us, um, but we're really excited to be offering it. This allows for consistent scheduling for you and your family term after term. Um, so something we're doing in aquatics is offering a preschool block and a youth block at the same time. This allows your family to register for that time. When you arrive, we will divide you up in your child up into the correct uh, level for your child. Then next term, instead of having to register for a completely different day and time, you can still register for that same block. Um, and if your child moves up a level, it's still the same day and time, which is really helpful for you. Um, 
In addition to that, we are also offering the YMCA Educational Academy. This is our response to remote learning. We are offering it in Merrimack as well as Westwood Park. Um, and the kids that are attending are kids that are in a hybrid model in their school, di school district or fully remote. They're able to come to the Y, get the remote learning done um, with our uh, staff and our team um, and have them be in a safe, fun place as well. We're also offering Junior NBA. Um, that is our youth basketball league for ages five to 15. That will have practices, games, you'll get a jersey, um, a reversible jersey with that registration. We have coaches and refs and the kids will be able to play games as well. Um, the registration is open for that and it will start um, next week for ages seven to 15. And then it will start in December, December 5th for ages five and six and that runs through March. And then the last thing that we have is something um, for high school basketball. We have a high school girls premier league happening over at Westwood Park that starts this weekend until December is for the very serious um, female high school varsity player. And we do have plans to start a boys varsity league as well on Fridays, um, starting November 6th to December 11th at Westwood Park as well. Um, so if you have questions about any of these programs, feel free to reach out to myself or any of the program directors and know that we are following all COVID guidelines at this time to keep your family safe and healthy while you attend our programs. So I will turn it back to Joe to close up. Great. Thank you, Lynn and Katie, and thank you for your leadership in uh, all that you're doing. It's been amazing to see uh, all the ways that you guys are continue to, continuing to adapt uh, to serve our community. I want to uh, opine on a few different things. First, uh, the junior NBA, uh, if you've got a child in that age group that's uh, interested in basketball, is such a great program. We've got, uh, we use a curriculum from the NBA uh, that our, our coaches use during those practices. Uh, we're adding, uh, as Lynn said, we're adding practices. We're going to have refereed games. Those are things that are new for us. Uh, those reversible jerseys, those are NBA jerseys. So they'll have a Celtics jersey or, God forbid, a Lakers jersey. Um, uh, so, so please do sign up. We've been running sports programs. We've been partnering with others uh, to come in and, and play basketball. Uh, we've got some great protocols in place uh, to make sure that the kids are safe, uh, that our coaches and our, our parents are safe. Um, so, so please do take a look at that. We're excited about a new season of junior NBA. Uh, and and the, the other thing I want to go back to uh, with that strong challenge, uh, we said it on the screen, but that is a free program for the community. This is our effort to make to bring our community together. Uh, it is, uh, it's been a crazy time for, for all of us. Uh, and we wanted to really take an opportunity to bring the whole community together, uh, to take care of ourselves as individuals, but also to connect with one another. And I think that's, for me, the, the coolest thing about the Strong Challenge is going to be that opportunity for people to connect with one another. Uh, so please do take a, take a look at that uh, and pass the word on to your friends. They don't have to be members of the YMCA. Um, the last thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to do this while I speak, uh, which will be interesting, um, but I'm going to add my email address uh, to this screen. And what I would like for you to do is if you've got uh, ideas for how we can uh, continue to serve you as a member, uh, particularly your family, we know that uh, as we go into the winter months, uh, it can be more challenging for families to have things to do uh, together. Please reach out if you've got any ideas or, or even things that we could be doing out in the community to strengthen the foundations of our community. Uh, please reach out to me and let me know. Uh, I'm just gonna end by uh, again, thanking you uh, for uh, supporting the YMCA, for being a part of the YMCA. And for those of you who've been coming to the Y, thank you for doing what you're supposed to, uh, wearing your mask, wiping down your equipment, washing your hands. Uh, it's gone a long way. I can share with you that uh, not only with our YMCA, but all the YMCAs that I'm in touch with all around the country, uh, we're, we've not seen any uh, transmission of COVID at the Y. And it certainly doesn't mean that it couldn't happen, um, but it hasn't happened uh, in any of the Ys that I've been talking to. Uh, and it's because of the protocols we have in place and because people are taking care of one another. Uh, so whether it's at the Y or out in the community, please wear your mask. Uh, we want to make sure that we keep this uh, COVID at bay as best we can. Uh, and we do that by all of us wearing our masks when we're out, out and about. Uh, so please, all of us, let's do our part. And also let's take care of one another. It's a stressful time with COVID, the election, uh, people are, are amped up. Uh, 
get yourself off social media if you can, uh, and just take care of one another. Take that extra step to be kind to others. Let somebody cut in front of you in traffic and don't complain about it. O open a door for somebody, uh, smile and wave at somebody. Uh, we need to take care of one another right now. Uh, so again, thank you for all that, uh, all that you've done to support the YMCA. Uh, we're excited to see you back. We're excited about these new offerings that we've got coming up. Please take advantage of them. Uh, we're excited about them and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.